The darkness has a way of creeping in, stealing our sense of security and replacing it with a feeling of an ease. For some, this feeling is more than just a passing discomfort. It's a deep-seated fear that can consume their thoughts and dictate their actions. This fear is known as a cloophobia, or the fear of darkness. A cloophobia is considered as a specific phobia, which are excessive or irrational fears of specific objects, situations, or activities. This condition is more common than one may think. It's estimated that about 10% of the population suffers from some type of specific phobia, and acloophobia is among the most commonly reported phobias. Acloophobia can manifest in a variety of ways. Some people may have a panic attack at the thought of being in the dark, while others may avoid sleeping with the lights off or going out at night. Others may experience physical symptoms such as rapid heartbeat, sweating, shaking, and difficulty breathing when confronted with darkness. The fear can be so severe that it can severely impact a person's quality of life, making it difficult for them to function in day-to-day -day activities. It can also lead to social isolation and problems in work and school. The causes of a cloophobia can be complex and vary. It may be the result of a traumatic event that occurred in the dark, such as an accident or a crime. For others, it may be a learned fear, passed down from a parent or caretaker who had a fear of the dark. In some cases, it may even be a symptom of an underlying mental disorder such as anxiety or depression. Some researchers suggest that a cluophobia could be an evolutionary mechanism that helped early humans to detect predators or dangerous animals in the dark. However, this fear can be triggered or exacerbated by personal experiences or traumatic events, leading to excessive or irrational fear of darkness. Despite the fact that a cluophobia can be a debilitating condition, there are ways to overcome it. One effective treatment is cognitive behavioral therapy, which helps individuals identify and change negative thought patterns and behaviors associated with their fear. This type of therapy is focused on helping individuals recognize and challenge their negative thoughts and beliefs about darkness. In some cases, medication such as antidepressants or beta blockers may be used to help manage symptoms of anxiety and depression. Medication can provide temporary relief, but it is important to combine it with other forms of treatment such as therapy. Another helpful technique is exposure therapy, where a person is gradually exposed to the thing they fear in a controlled and safe environment. This can help a person build up their tolerance and reduce their anxiety associated with darkness. This therapy involves gradually increasing exposure to the feared stimulus under the guidance of a therapist and is usually combined with other techniques such as relaxation and breathing exercises to help manage anxiety. Humor can also play an important role in dealing with cloophobia, as it can help to diffuse the tension and provide a much needed distraction from the fear. It can also help to normalize the fear and make it less overwhelming. One could think of Stephen King's well-known horror books. They offer readers a sense of security in the face of their fear by providing them with a sense of control over the story. Reading horror stories or watching horror movies can be a way to face the fear in a safe and controlled environment and to realize that it is not as dangerous as it seems. A cloophobia, or the fear of darkness, can be a debilitating condition that can significantly impact a person's quality of life. It's important for individuals who suffer from this condition to understand that they are not alone and that there is help available. Cognitive behavioral therapy, exposure therapy, and medication are all effective treatment options for a cloophobia. 
They can help individuals to identify and change negative thought patterns and behaviors associated with their fear. It's important to work with a mental health professional to determine the best course of treatment. Humor can also play an important role in dealing with acrophobia. It can help to diffuse the tension and provide much needed distraction from the fear. Reading or watching horror stories or movies can be a way to face the fear in a safe and controlled environment and to realize that it is not as dangerous as it seems. It's important for individuals with a fear of darkness to understand that their fear is valid and that it's okay to feel scared. But it's also important to remember that with the right treatment and support, it's possible to overcome this fear and regain control over their lives. With the help of a mental health professional and the use of various techniques and therapy, a person can learn to manage and eventually overcome their acrophobia.